Welcome back to your geography class. In today's session, we will be dealing with the remaining part of chapter 4, soil formation. Today we shall study about soil formation, soil profile, the various factors affecting formation of soil and soil conservation. Bare rocks begin to break up because of the sun's rays, rainwater and other factors of erosion leading these rock particles to break down into smaller particles. These smaller particles erode against each other to lead to the formation of the top layer of soil. This top layer of soil acts as the medium for plants to grow on. As we know, the loose unconsolidated part of the earth's crust is known as soil. Soil takes thousands of years to form. Soil is formed by physical, chemical or biological changes that takes place in a rock. There are several factors affecting soil. The factors responsible for soil formation are parent rock material, relief, time, climatic condition, plants, animals and human activities. The process of soil formation gives rise to four distinct layers of soil. The process of soil formation gives rise to four well-marked horizontal layers called the soil horizons. Like you can see in the diagram, there are four layers, the topsoil, subsoil, fragmented rock material and parental rocks. The soil profile is composed of four distinct layers which are called horizons. These horizons have different constituents, hence they differ in texture, color, mineral content, ability to retain water, etc. As you can see here, there are four distinct horizons. The uppermost horizon or horizon A is also called topsoil. This horizon is rich in humus and minerals and makes the soil fertile, providing nutrients to plants. The next layer is horizon B which has less amount of humus but more amount of minerals. This layer is harder and more compact and is called horizon B or the subsoil. The third layer or the horizon C is made up of small lumps or chunks of rocks with cracks and crevices. They are formed from fragmented rock materials of the bedrock. The last to the fourth layer is called the bedrock which is hard and compact. This entire profile that you can see is called the soil profile. The type of soil found in a region depends on a variety of factors such as parent rock material, relief, climate and time. The parent rock determines the color, texture, chemical properties, mineral content and permeability of soil. Topography also plays an important role in the formation of soil. Steep slopes have thin layers of soil while gentle slopes have thick layers. Under climate, temperature and rainfall act or affect the process of soil formation. They help in decay and decomposition of the parent rock. The thickness of soil profile is determined by time. Soil formation is not an immediate process. It takes hundreds of years of formation. Next, let's move to degradation of soil. The proper use of soil is very essential. If not done so, leads to soil erosion. There are a number of factors that are responsible for soil erosion. Uncontrolled runoff of surface water, overgrazing of land, improper farming techniques, deforestation, excessive use of fertilizers and pesticides, landslides, floods and human activities. All these factors result in soil erosion of different types. To reduce soil erosion, we need to conserve soil. Soil conservation comprises of preservation, protection and utilization of soil. So what is soil conservation? Soil conservation is an effort made by man to prevent soil erosion in order to retain soil fertility. So let us see some of the methods to conserve soil. Aforestation of planting of trees is planting of trees at short distances to provide a shelter belts for soil. 
Next process is mulching. In this method, organic matter like straw and grass is used to cover the bare ground to help soil retain moisture. Overgrazing must be controlled properly. Fodder should be raised as a crop because free movement of animals makes the soil particles loose. Contour Barriers This method is mainly used in hilly areas. Grasses, stones, soil bags etc. are used to build barriers. Rotation of crops is a method where different crops are grown in alternative ways. This is because different crops need different elements from the soil. Contour ploughing refers to ploughing parallel to the contour of a hill slope. It acts as a natural barrier preventing soil from getting eroded. Terrace farming is basically done in steep slopes where broad flat terraces are made to reduce soil erosion by runoff. Dams are constructed to slow down the speed of running water. This way, soil erosion by rivers is reduced to a large extent. In the method of intercropping, different crops are grown in alternative rows and are sown at different times of the year to protect the soil from rain. So with this, we come to an end of this chapter 4, Weathering and Soil Formation. Make sure to go through the chapter thoroughly and any of your doubts are welcome. The assignments related to this portion will be uploaded on the school website, so please check that out and make sure to do it in your geography notebook. In the next session, we shall start with another chapter. Till then, make sure you keep yourself safe and sound at home and shall see you soon in the next video.